For those of us who are too quick to reduce everything to the will of God, you are poor. It is the will of God. Who told you? Now, your destiny is being controlled by the type of mindset you have. You are a graduate with a wonderful certificate, but you are not satisfied. Well, let me tell somebody here. Most often, we procrastinate. Tomorrow will be better. It's always good to be futuristic. But let me tell you, delay is dangerous. Most often, people will say that delay is not denial. But in your moment of delay, if you don't struggle to enforce your prophecies to fast track your destiny, delay can turn to a denial. There is this evil adage that says, it's only when a runner stops that is when somebody who is walking can press up to his level what is the sense of saying this for you to know that god has destined greatness for you for you to know that in christ jesus you are number one the word of god says Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, we are delivered from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And in Romans 8, 37, in Christ Jesus, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah, somebody. You cannot be a great man if you don't have the mindset to assess the ultimate. You don't have the mindset of greatness. You can never be rich if you don't think towards that direction. Mr. Leto, Mrs. Leto, wake up. That is not where God has destiny for you. You are created to be God's number one. Think big and see big vision. Stand strong in the moment of adversity. Once the battle of your vision is involved, it is a battle that will cross you over to the other side of your destiny. David was a small boy, but he had a winning mentality. The, the size of Goliath did not scare him. Others were seeing Goliath as a giant and David saw Goliath as what? Uncircumcised. Learn how to smallerize your problem and bigger size your God. Amen and amen. Amen.